Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy. And I actually have another mystery bead box, mystery, magical mystery bead box from Jesse James Beads to unbox with you uh, tonight. And uh, the reason is we did get these a little bit late. I felt so bad. Um, they had to send out a message to us that they were coming late because something that was supposed to be in the box, which everything is so amazing, they were waiting on from their supplier. <laughs> So we actually got this one just a little while ago, and um, this came right before the one that I did for you the other night for with the butterflies. So this one I also wanted to unbox with you so you could see it, because it is also super gorgeous. And uh, if you have never gotten any of these magical mystery bead boxes from Jesse James Beads, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, it's one of my most favorite things to get in the mailbox. And it's like just a happy day when I get one of these. So they are worth the wait if you have to. Um, but it doesn't happen often. But hey, it happens to everybody. We all know, like with the news, how the supply chain is out there uh, in the world right now. So uh, anyway, I'm delighted to have this box. I'm going to share it with you. Let's see what's going on inside and uh, see what the theme is. Oh, fun. So, Scarborough Fair. The road to Scarborough Fair. How cute is that? And I love the pictures, of course. Oh, I love this font. Isn't that neat? <gasps> Look, there's a dragon. I don't know if you guys are watching House of Dragons, but I love dragons. And there's any anything medieval, mystical, um, I love it all. So this is this is cool. So let's see, we got Bead Strand and Remember Me, Mini Mix in Folk Tales and Fables, Bead Strand in Alchemist Garden, Chain and Finding Set in Chainmail, Clasp Assortment, Charm Pair and Wishes, Leather Pendants in Songbook, Bead Mix in Scarborough Fair, Chain Reaction, oh, I love Chain Reaction, Renaissance Filigree Brass Pendant, and King and Queen of the Fair Pearl Assortment. Nice. And they have an offer. Oh, I guess that's for people that have... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you have to subscribe to get the offer. Anyway, um, let's take a look. And they do do that. They will give you either a coupon. If you get the mystery box, you'll get a special offer, a coupon. Sometimes they'll have a design contest. It just depends what it is. But look, look at the gorgeousness in here. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so let me move this stuff out of the way. I'm going to pull everything out, and then we'll take a look at everything. It all looks amazing. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Lots and lots of beautiful things. Wow, this one's a full box, guys. Really full. Love it. Like I said, I can't say enough about these boxes. So let's see. First off, here's some of the Chain Reaction, which I've used in tutorials before. So if you've watched any of my tutorials, you will recognize Chain Reaction. But it is some of my favorite things to work with when making jewelry. You can take these apart and use the little components uh, there's wrapped beads in here already for you if you want to just use those. And we got two, and I love this kind of iridescent, light, kind of grayish green color. Um, and you get quite a bit. Uh, and it's a very high quality metal. Does not, and so far I've not had any tarnish on me, which is nice. And um, two strands, you could do a whole lot with two strands. So that is amazing. Put that over there. Let's see. I want to take a look at this bead strand. It looks like carved wood. This is called Remember Me. Now these feel like they're resin, but they look like intricately carved wood. You've got that beautiful check bead in there. Kind of a faceted frosty bead. I love the brass. Definitely looks very... Renaissance fair, very, very kind of antique, old world. 
Look at these carved flowers. Aren't those gorgeous? And then check this heart out. That is just gorgeous. I love that. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love the faceted. This is kind of frosty and shiny. And then faceted in a very interesting way. Got nice spacer beads. Beautiful spacer with the little flowers all around like a garland. That's really, really, really pretty. Love that. I'm curious if this may have been the delay because I have not seen these beads before. I've seen some carved beads, but not with this, not with this color. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, whatever it is, it, so far I'm happy and it was worth the wait. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, another, another strand. This one is called Alchemist Garden. And it has some frame beads. Look at these cloisonne beads. Love cloisonne. Those are beautiful. Also very old world, handmade, kind of antique feeling. Absolutely gorgeous. More copper and gold, kind of mixed. I love that copper and gold together. Really beautiful. All right. Then we have some, oh, some chain mail. That's cool. Let's check that out. At first, that looked like silver silk to me from Neely Patel's company. <laughs> it really look, kind of looks like it, but it's chain mail. So, wow. Nice long strand. Look at that. That's amazing. It's super smooth. I can't wait to see what people do with this. And then uh, I, I'm assuming you can cut this with your with wire cutters. I may have to might have to inquire on that, but I love the I love the silky feeling of that. And then it's got the little end caps so you can get two sets of end caps you could do quite a bit you could do earrings maybe a necklace a bracelet and uh, i think these it just fits in the end i don't think you glue it i think you um pinch it you could glue it but it goes right in there in the end but I think you just pinch it, if I had to guess. Very cool. Very neat. Kind of reminds me of uh, medieval armor. <laughs> it's kind of what that reminds me of. Let's see. We've got a joined clasp assortment. Always can use clasps. There's always a need for clasps, <laughs> as we know, as us jewelry makers know. And these look like a variety of clasps. Let's see what we have here. So we have, ooh, that's pretty. Beautiful toggle clasp in gold with some rhinestones. Love that. Then we have a copper rose toggle clasp very neat um fish hook and eye clasp love the textures in that another toggle clasp in kind of a brass antique brass color And then this looks like, oh yeah, this is a box clasp, I think. Looks like a box clasp. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. It's so cleverly made, I don't know how to open. 
Ah, here you go. So you press down on this little guy, and then he should slide out. There we go. I like box clasps. You don't see them too often. But um, look at the design on this. It's You can really have a beautiful, ornate piece when you have a box clasp because you have all that surface area to do decorating. And then this guy just slides in here like that. Beautiful star shape in silver. So all different colors, treatments, shapes. Very nice. Uh, what's this? Wishes Charms Pair. Wishes Charm Pair. Pardon me. That looks like... Oh, you know what this is? These are dandelion seeds inside there. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. I hope you can see that. It's very tiny, but it's in there. So yeah, for wishes, you know, remember when you were a kid, you'd take the dandelion seeds and blow them and make wishes. That is very cool. What a neat idea. Love that. All right. Loving that. Oh, here's a beautiful filigree piece. It'll make a nice vocal. Have a brass color. Boy, this just begs from some bead weaving, doesn't it? Or some patina paint. That's neat. There's the back. Love that. That's cool. Very renaissance-y looking, <laughs> if that's even a word. <laughs> and then we have some songbook leather pendants. Gorgeous. Oh, it's so fun to open all this. I love all their themes too. I don't know how it is they come up. They always come up with the most amazing themes. So these are two-sided leather pieces. You could certainly play with paint on these. It'd be pretty if with a little paint or some, you know, you could even play with uh, some little rhinestones here and there if you wanted. Definitely could embellish these. Lightweight, like all the leather pieces. Which is nice. You can wear a nice big pair of earrings that don't weigh your ears down. You could also make pendants for necklaces. They don't have to be earrings. So, very cool. Let's see what else. This must be King and Queen of the Fair Pearl Assortment. The reason I say that is because of the crowns and there's pearls. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. I love this dusty teal color. Pearls, those are so pretty. Oh, look at these crowns. And so they've got holes in them. You could hang them. You could use them as bead caps, too. You could also just hang, you know, put them on top of a pearl and make it look like a queen, king or queen wearing a crown. So we've got these gold ones. Let's see. Got a tall one in gold. The textures are neat, kind of like a castle. Then we have silver, kind of an antique silver also in that tall kind of treatment. And then we have some shorter brass and silver. 
antique silver little crowns. Those are neat. And look at these beautiful pearls. I love that dusty kind of sage green. Absolutely beautiful. And will look nice with any one of these uh, treatments on the crowns. Beautiful. So we've got some mixes to look at now. I think we'll start with the smaller mix. This one is called Folk Tales and Fables. And there's looks like there are beautiful things in there. Look at that. I love the colors. Love those bits of turquoise in there. I am a fan of the turquoise. I really do love it. <laughs> and it looks great with almost every other color out there. <laughs> That's what I find so amazing about turquoise. But it looks like there's all kinds of... Ooh, it looks like there's more crowns in here. Wow. That kind of goes along with our dragon t TV show, if you're watching that. I just, I'm also watching the, the Lord of the Rings, the new one, because uh, I love, I love all the costumes and the scenery and just, it's just amazing to me how they do that. Uh, okay, let's see. Some beautiful cranberry red. These are very like velvety round beads. I think they are velvet. Very evocative of maybe a medieval robe, I would say. And that sage green, we've got some beautiful tassels, little tassels, which, you know, you can do a lot with but they pick up that sage green in those pearls. Love those. I gotta pull these birds out of here, they're so pretty. Aren't those sweet? Look at these birdies. One side's got a little swirly and another one's got kind of some stripes. Gorgeous. Love the mixture of the metals. Here's more crowns and a brighter silver. And let's see, pretty spacer beads and a bright gold. Looks like we've got some more flowers and a silver. I love the mixture of these metals. So we have all these flower components, but different metals, which I think is very, rich looking. Oh, and we have some copper birds as well. Look at all that together. Love that. I like how we have spacers and also connectors. These tiny uh, quatrefoil beads, these crystal are beautiful. Just love these. Looks like there's six of them here. Those just sparkle for days. Love those. Love that shape. And the facets just are, just, oh, I love it. So pretty. I'm kind of liking the subtle subtleness of some of these colors. I like that we've got some more pearls too in this beautiful ivory. So you could do an ivory and a pretty sage green together. Here's some table cut beads and a teal. Very pretty. Like I said, I'm loving the colors. Not sure what you call this fastening, but I love it where it's kind of frosty on the outside and then you've got all those facets. Beautiful. Let's 
let's see. There's a lot in this mix. Some square crystal beads and a beautiful dusty purple. Then you've got this tangerine colored rondelles in different sizes. Those are so pretty. It's a lot of those. Aren't those gorgeous? And if that weren't enough, now we've got, whoops, some pretty leaf charms. Wow, are those detailed? Love the detail. And then these, I love these because they're double, they're already kind of dropped behind another one and they move already. So those are really fun. I've have played with these before. I think we've gotten them in another mix, maybe in silver. So this, this is such a cool mix with all the mixtures of the metals. I really like it. Some really pretty copper bead caps. So these, wow, these are interesting. I think they're wood. Yeah. Some small wood beads, which I like the brown with all the subtle, subtle colors. And you've got the brown, you know, in the, um, the brown and the bronze in this leather and you also have it in these really pretty carved looking pieces then we've got a variety of blues kind of a sky blue some teal blue looks like little flower caps turquoise and the very faint gray drops. Aren't those pretty? Those are super sparkly too. That's just that one small, that's the mini mix basically. That one was called Fair, Folk Tales and Fables. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm going to move that stuff up here. All right, so now we're gonna go at, last piece, last but not least, Scarborough Fair. So larger beads, looks like we have a, more of the teals and the sage green and lots of mixed metal, lots of metal in there. And it is very full. They don't skimp on their mixes. And you can do a lot. You can do a lot with one mix and when you get several boy that's and then plus strands you can create for days so let's see here some big gorgeous coin beads aren't those beautiful they kind of have a little bit of dusty lavender in them and a tiny bit of that green Boy, is that pretty. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at those. I have not ever seen a bead like that. Love those. I love the frosty area. Those are so neat. Let me see the back. So the back is a silver. Those are very interesting. Very interesting. Love those. Those made me say wow quite a bit. <laughs> Here's some really pretty charms. Love those. 
They're double-sided. Loving all the metals. This almost looks like a thimble. I'm, I'm assuming it's a bead. Oops, I got a bead stuck in there. I think it's a bead cap. But it kind of looks like a, a soldier helmet, doesn't it? <laughs> or a thimble. It's got a pretty kind of flower design on the side. This would make a nice uh, top for a beaded tassel. Stay tuned, I may do that. I've got a bead stuck in here. I'll worry about that later. I think it's just one bead. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, there's the mate. So then we've got some, these almost have a little bit of green in them. These uh, rondelles here. They're off-white with a bit of green. And these are so pretty. That's such a pretty color. I'm gonna call that seafoam green. Absolutely beautiful. Love these. Kind of a watery blue rectangular bead. Boy, I can't wait to see what people do with these. I love these faceted with the frosty. I love that mixture of facets and frost. Frost and facets. And they do it in so many different ways. It's just such an interesting look. Those are neat. Look at these. So flowers in kind of a, almost a matte gold. So, so pretty. And the holes that way. And then we also have some copper bead caps. And some silver bead caps. So look at all these metals together. They look really good. I love mixed metal. And then some kind of twisty round components you could use for many, many things. You could use them as connectors. You could hang them from earrings. Very cool. You could bead other things through them. Love that. All right, so these kind of look like jasper or some type of, oops, some type of, gem, type of gemstone. They have the black and the uh, rust in them and then they're faceted, I like those. Can't tell if they're gemstone or not, but they're pretty. Love these saucer beads. I think we had some smaller ones, yeah. So you got some smaller ones and some bigger ones. So that's kind of neat. Frosty beads and kind of an off-white. Last but certainly not least, some more off-white with kind of a green tinge uh, frosted and faceted bead. These are gorgeous. So yeah, this is a very rich, luxurious little situation we have here. <laughs> I mean, the mixture of the metals, the textures, the subtle colors. I love this carved feeling. And it kind of is evoked throughout all. You've got these beautiful leather pieces that look like almost like they're carved. You've got silver. Ooh, look at that silver up next to that copper. That's kind of cool. You could probably do a layer or something. And then I love the seafoam green. 
Look at it next to this bead right here. Isn't that beautiful? So many, many, many options. That's what I love about the mystery bead boxes. You can go in so many directions. You can add beads of your own. You know, if you wanted to play up more of the sea foam, you could pull more things out of your stash in those colors if you have them. Uh, the pearls are beautiful. I love all the different types of bead caps. These are amazing with these facets. And uh, then you've got cloisonne, many different kinds of tassel, I mean, uh, closures, box closure, and toggles. Those are amazing as well. Chain mail, chain reaction. This is just really amazing. It's an amazing collection of things that are so eclectic, but yet work so well together at the same time. This is gonna be interesting to see what people do. Always my favorite thing is to get on uh, Jesse James Bead's Facebook page and see what people are making. Um, I will link, you know, put a link if you want to get a box for yourself. Um, I don't know if they still have this in stock, but do give it a try. And uh, if you didn't see my other unboxing, uh, that is a Monarch Butterfly box that is stunning as well with purples and oranges. So thanks for joining me on this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I absolutely, it's like a, having, it's like getting a Christmas gift, you know, in your mailbox every month. And I'd love sharing it with you and pulling out everything and looking at it and ooing and aahing and trying to think of all the possibilities of what you could do. You know, your wheels start turning. I'll probably play around with this. Uh, for a few days before I actually make anything. Sometimes I dive right in. Sometimes, you know, I get an idea and I just run with it. Other times I like to kind of sit back and, you know, ruminate for a little bit and play with it and think about it. And I think either way you approach that is fine. It's your box. You do what you want. So anyway, stay tuned for some finished jewelry with this. I know that was a big hit, all the finished jewelry that I did last week. So I will definitely be doing that again. Uh, and so for those of you who are subscribers, I just can't thank you enough. You've been wonderful to me. I hope that I'm teaching you and inspiring you. That's the whole point. And if you've not subscribed, I would love it if you could like and subscribe. It does help my channel um, and bring me helps me bring you more content. So I've got some great ideas coming up for some other uh, classes and of course we're going to have more color inspiration do join me on my Facebook group uh, that is under groups Marcy creates there's about 140 of us beady eyed souls that are on there sharing ideas and showing off pictures of jewelry and beautiful colors that we like and gemstones we think are amazing so do join us over there if you don't want to do that but you just want a little bit of color inspiration by all means, follow me on Pinterest under Mercy Creates Space Studio. All that will be in my description links. Thank you again. Have a wonderful evening. Take care of your sweet selves and your families. Be safe, and I will see you on the next video.